Let's go ahead with modeling our solid. We want to add a ribbon perpendicular to the horizontal axis of our object. The work plane is not in the position we need to have it. We use the work plane on entity command to set the work plane on the same plane of the opened profile we used in the previous video. On this plane, we insert a rectangle. Now we insert the suitable constraints, a dimension of 3 mm for the length and another dimension of 5 mm for the height. Then after zooming on the area of interest to see more details, we insert another constraint dimension to manage the distance between our rectangle and the current work plane origin. We edit this dimension to set its value to 7. The next constraint is a collinearity constraint. The constraint connects the base of our rectangle with an edge of the internal face of our solid. In the appearance category of the system options under reference systems, we take off the visualization of the square of the XW plane. The final step of the rib creation is a linear protrusion based on the profile just created, with from 2 as extension and specifying the starting phase and the end phase. Here is that we have created our rib. Now, we run the draft angle command. We set as neutral plane the upper face and uh, we angle the sides of 5 degrees. We insert also the fillets. We do it by selecting first the upper edges. We set the radius of these two to 1 so that at uh, the next fillet we have just to select an edge of the base uh, system and uh, all the edges of the tangent chain will be created. Now we want to insert uh, some slots. We will do it by using another approach different from the previous. We have to insert uh, 7 or 8 slots. We start from the first one. We create a simple profile, a line, and we insert a dimension to manage the distance. This line is longer than the solid object. We don't use it to create a new feature. We use it to create a new linear solid, set the thickness to 2, the depth to uh, the value 20 and we set also a draft angle of 2 degrees for the sides. Then what we have created is a new solid separated from the original one. To highlight this difference, we change the color of the new solid. We have a green solid and the gray one. Let's proceed by adding the entity we don't need for the next steps, the original solid, the various profile. Let's keep the new linear solid. We want to create some copies of it. Using the solid pattern command, we select the green solid to replicate 8 copies along this direction with a fixed distance of 5 with the joined copies active which is the result. We have two solids. One is the linear solid created from the profile and the, another one which contains the seven copies created with the solid pattern command. Let's check which kind of object is the one with the seven copies. It's multi-shell. It is an object composed by disjointed pieces. 
Actually, an unique object mixed by separate parts does not exist. Instead, we can manage this kind of situation in, vi in virtual models. Let's join these two solid with the solid union command. It's a boolean union. Now we have only one solid. It is still multi-shell, but we are aware of it and we can manage it. What we create, the object we are working on, is a new solid and we want to further shape it. We create a new profile using offset on plain command. From these two selected edges with 8 uh, mm of distance. An offset constraint is automatically added. Slowly, we can foresee what we want to obtain. We want to shape the green object to obtain the tool for the rib creation, that is, the empty part on the final object. We run the linear slot command, extension through all. We deselect the thickness and remove the material from the upper side of the green solid. Step by step, we are modeling a new solid. Let's insert a whole feature. with a diameter of 20 mm and the center in this middle point. This is the result of our work, a green solid object made by eight separate parts. We want to combine it with the gray solid. We use a boolean difference to remove the volume of the green solid from the gray one. OK. This is uh, the final result. Let's uh, save it.